Why do aircraft carriers have an angled runway? Aircraft carriers are marvels of modern engineering serving as floating airbases that can project military power across the globe. One of the most distinctive features of these naval behemoths is the angled runway, a design element that seems almost counterintuitive at first glance. Why would a runway meant for landing and taking off be angled? Let's dive into the history, mechanics and strategic advantages behind this unique design. The concept of aircraft carriers dates back to the early 20th century when the British Royal Navy experimented with converting warships into platforms for seaplanes. The first successful aircraft carrier, HMS Argus, was launched in 1918. However, it wasn't until the 1920s and 1930s that aircraft carriers became a staple of naval warfare. The United States, Japan and the United Kingdom were among the first to develop these vessels, each with their own unique designs and capabilities. The angled runway, also known as the angled deck, was first introduced on the British aircraft carrier HMS Ark Royal in 1938. This innovative design was the brainchild of Admiral Sir Reginald Henderson, who recognised the limitations of traditional straight runways. Here are some key reasons why an angled runway became a standard feature on modern aircraft carriers. First is safety and control. One of the primary reasons for the angled runway is safety. In the early days of naval aviation, landing on a straight deck was a perilous task. Pilots had to rely on visual cues and manual control to bring their planes to a stop, which often resulted in accidents. The angled deck provides a safer landing environment by allowing pilots to use a barber pole system of lights and signals to guide them onto the runway. This visual aid helps pilots align their aircraft more accurately, reducing the risk of crashes. Second, increased deck space. An angled runway allows for more efficient use of deck space. By angling the runway, aircraft carriers can accommodate more planes and helicopters without compromising on safety. This increased capacity is crucial for modern naval operations where having a robust air wing is essential for both defence and defence. Third, improved takeoff performance. The angled runway also enhances takeoff performance. When an aircraft takes off from an angled deck, it can use the entire length of the runway to gain speed and altitude. This is particularly important for heavier aircraft like the FA-18 Hornet or the F-35C Lightning II, which require more runway to achieve optimal takeoff performance. Fourth, enhanced recovery operations. Recovery operations or landing procedures are critical for any aircraft carrier. The angled deck facilitates these operations by providing a clear path for aircraft to land and recover. The barber pole system mentioned earlier helps pilots align their aircraft with the runway, ensuring a smooth and controlled landing. So how exactly does an angled runway work? Let's break it down step by step. First, when an aircraft approaches the carrier, it follows a specific pattern known as the approach path. This path is designed to ensure that the plane aligns perfectly with the angled runway. Second, as the aircraft approaches the carrier, it sees a series of coloured lights and signals on the angled deck. These lights form a barber pole pattern that guides the pilot onto the runway. The colours change from green to yellow to red as the plane aligns with the centre line of the runway. Third, once aligned with the centre line, the pilot touches down on the runway. The angled deck allows for a controlled descent and touchdown, reducing the risk of accidents. Fourth, for takeoff, pilots follow a similar pattern but in reverse. They align with the angled deck using visual cues and then accelerate down the runway until they reach sufficient speed for liftoff. From its origins in World War II era British carriers to its current implementation in state-of-the-art vessels like the Gerald R. Ford class carriers, this design element has evolved significantly over time but remains essential for maintaining operational superiority at sea, mostly for safety.